Yo, what's good, boys? Uh, if you're anything like me, a lot of your life is kind of dictated by the music you're listening to, right? It's like the soundtrack to your life. You know, I'm the kind of kid, especially back in high school, like, I was always listening to music, you know what I mean? I was that kid that walked around with his headphones in, in the hallways. Um, even in class, what I used to do is, like, slip the wire up through my sleeve. Um, and then so the headphone was, like, in my palm, and then I would lean on my hand like this, and I would just be in class listen to music don't don't be doing that one pay attention in class but what i want to talk about in this video real real quick is i want to talk about how the music you're listening to is really programming your mindset and um has a lot to do with kind of how you go about life and the way you feel your mood each day and it's something that i think a lot of people don't even really kind of realize until you really start to think about it okay because your brain basically Anything your brain hears, anything your brain sees, that's what it creates in reality, right? I've kind of talked about this in some past videos about how your thoughts dictate reality. Well, what your brain's hearing, that's what it kind of manifests in your own body and in your own life, right? So you got to really kind of pay attention to the lyrics of the music you're listening to, right? And we could get into like frequencies and all that, but I think that's like a little bit beyond this video. I just want to kind of more focus on the lyrics of what you're hearing in the music you're listening to. So like, for instance, guys, I'm someone who like my favorite artist, or at least one of my favorite artists is The Weeknd, okay? And for any of you that are familiar with The Weeknd's music, like a lot of it, you know, just because of the stuff he's talking about, like I can't even listen to. And this is one of my favorite artists, but the reason I can't listen to him is just because like... The lyrics are just so bad for your subconscious mind. Again, this is your subconscious listening, all right? And it's hearing the things they're saying and it's kind of manifesting it into your own life. Like there's this one song by The Weeknd, it's called Escape From LA. You can go listen to it after this if you want to, to see what I'm talking about. It's a really good song. It's one of my favorite songs off the album, but like there's a, there's just this one line in there where he basically, like the line is literally, he says, uh, he says, you know, for that pussy, I'm a slave. And it's like, man, I've been singing this song, guys. And every time that line comes on, I'm like, ah, oh, it's so bad for your mind to hear stuff like this. Um, it just, it, it sets you in a, in a bad direction, right? Because obviously you don't want to live life like that, guys. That's not a good, um, that's not a good thing to be. Okay. And there's a lot worse lyrics for your mind to hear than stuff like that. But basically the reason why I'm making this video is because I know you guys, at least when you're working out, I know you're listening to music and I want to make sure that the music you're listening to is doing some good programming from your subconscious. Okay. Because that's exactly what you're doing when you're listening to music, you're programming your brain. So, um, yeah, basically you want to stay away from like sad artists, you know, like emo rap guys i listen to hip-hop mostly um so i'm only gonna kind of refer to you guys some hip-hop artists i don't know too much about like rock and roll or, or pop or anything like that like if you guys listen to that and you have some really good ones that are good for the subconscious then drop it below in the comments but basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go through on my phone real quick and kind of just look at all the music i have saved on my phone so i'm gonna list you guys some really really good artists that if you like hip-hop i recommend you know playing these guys because they have good messaging for your subconscious mind and if you're not into hip-hop or no no no, sorry and then i'm gonna name some guys that um even if you are into hip-hop like and you might really really like these artists and there's some artists that i really really like too but you gotta limit the amount of their music you listen to and you'll kind of realize it when i say it i might say one of your favorite artists and then you'll really start to listen to it and you're like yeah it's probably not a good idea for like me to be saying these words and listening to these words because what you say becomes your reality right we talked about this so i'm just going to quickly go through and you know as i'm scrolling whatever pops up i'm just going to say that artist um all right so right off the bat we got benny the butcher he's a little more underground but give him a try he's basically just He's basically hustler music, right? So that's all he talks about is hustling. Um, really good for his subconscious. Let's see what else we got here. DMX. Drake. Drake's hit or miss. You got to find the right Drake ones because there's some really, really motivating Drake tracks. And then there's some Drake tracks like, you know, Marvin's Room will take you the other direction. So you just got to find the right Drake ones. Um, but obviously Drake's incredible when you get the good ones from him. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, so here's one that's not good, guys. Like... And I love this guy to death. Um, his his album Blonde. I'm talking about Frank Ocean. His album Blonde is like my favorite musical album of all time. 
but yeah a lot of his stuff be putting you in your bag and not in the good way guys so and again there's like a few good ones with every artist like they have some songs that are really good for mine and some that aren't but overall he kind of got to cut out the frank ocean let's see what else oh future that might be the number one guy i'm probably gonna make him the uh what is it called the thumbnail for this video because future guys if you just go through his discography and he's got a ton of songs you'll be straight like if you just listen to nothing but future trust me your life is your life's gonna go just like that straight up guys future's the goat when it comes to this stuff all right let's see what else we got gunna's really good gucci's really good j cole's really good especially his latest project the off season j cole's really good jay-z guys if you listen to the blueprint one by jay-z and reasonable doubt you're solid of course um watch the throne jay-z and kanye and then since i'm talking about kanye might as well mention him kanye same thing he's got a few that you probably want to avoid but like, come on, guys, you know the song Can't Tell Me, or, yeah, Can't Tell Me Nothing by Kanye off Graduation. Like, that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate programming song. Come on, guys, just play that one if you don't know it. Gotta have it. Kanye's the goat when it comes to that. Let's see what else we got here. Kid Cudi. That's one of those ones you gotta cut out, guys. I know he's got some good ones. I know he's got some good ones. But overall, it's a lot of kind of, mm, it's just... It's not good, and, and I know a lot of you might love Cuddy, but you really gotta listen to those words. Gotta cut out the kick, Cuddy. Lil Baby's amazing. Um, let's see, let me try to wrap it up here for you guys. Lil Wayne's amazing. Meek Mill's amazing. What else we got? Moneybag Yo's really good. He's a new guy. He's really good. Nipsey Hussle, of course. Let's see, we're getting towards the end here. Pop Smoke. Uh, Pop Smoke's got amazing music for the subconscious. Let's see, almost at the end here. Takeoff, I mean, that's Migos basically. Uh, ah, Trippy Red, that's another one. I love Trippy Red, but he makes basically that emo rap I was talking about. You gotta cut it, guys, you gotta cut it. No Trippy Red. The Weeknd I talked about, he's got some great ones. King of the Fall by The Weeknd, amazing. But a lot of his, like, basically, his Beauty Behind the Madness album and his Starboy Star album, good to go. Everything else, you gotta dead it. And let's see, we're right about at the end here. Young Dolph, rest in peace, Young Dolph. Amazing for the subconscious. Spin some Young Dolph. 21 Savage, Lil Uzi Vert, 50 Cent, and Young Thug, free Young Thug. Yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Um, you know, maybe you listen to some of those guys. Maybe you're just going to check them out now. Um, but I wanted to make that video because I really want you guys to become aware of what you're listening to and the lyrics you're repeating because it's this point i keep trying to get across on this channel about how the thoughts you think and the things you say dictate your reality so be mindful of what you're listening to i gotta turn the ac back on this car so i'm gonna wrap up the video because i'm sweating uh but i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one if you got any good um suggestions for me let me know in the comments because i'm always down to listen to some more music like i said i mean we listen to hip-hop but whatever you got drop it below i'll listen to it and yeah subscribe to the channel like the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace